Today we're going to be looking at the most incredible and the best autocoder version 5 app maker, which uses function calling to build entire apps, multi-file apps. Let's see what it is capable of. I am going to ask it, create three files for Fibonacci, prime numbers and square root numbers and a fourth file which imports them and implements them. Here it's creating some folder. It is already written Fibonacci and number. This is really incredible. It's going to create all the files and a fourth file which imports them and implements them. It is created. Check if number is prime. So with function calling, this can actually modify the entire file system. It wrote the square root of a number. So we have all three of our files. And next is to combine them. Here we go. Main.py file, which imports all of the files and actually runs them as well. This is all pretty incredible. I think the coding is changing forever with the function calling and its capabilities. Let's explore more. Let's take a look at a Pi game I have created using this. When this game starts, we control a green circle to chase around the red circles. As you see, they try to move away from you, and every three seconds they replicate. You can catch them. It's very difficult, and you actually get points right up here. Our score is up to 15. It made a really difficult game. I used it to create a restaurant customer manager with both index.html and with JavaScript. Entirely written by Autocoder version 5 app maker. Let's test it. And here we go. Keeps adding to the bottom of the file form. Code files for the Autocoder app maker will be available at my Patreon, along with 90 plus other projects in this code files. Patreon link will be in the description. Let's test the Autocoder with another project. This time we are going to ask for an HTML canvas animation with JavaScript. Today, the API is really busy, but we are actually handling the errors that come from the API and continue our project. We have already created our app folder right here. Let me move this up. We have created an index.html file with a canvas element. I will be updating this other coder day after day, week after week. Please subscribe if you want to keep track of the progress, and I'll be posting the updates on Patreon as well. Here we go. We have created the app.js. Our animation is now playing. Let's see. We make it big that the line is only drawn when the circles are close enough to one another. So this is incredible, really, with the function calling. All sorts of things are now possible. Let's see how we can make something like this work. I would like to recommend Unconventional Coding YouTube channel, especially this video. This gentleman had a very similar idea. I will put the video link in the description. I recommend you check it out. The code is quite long. I'm not going to review all of it, but I will obviously mention the most crucial elements. Here we have a functions.py file, which has all of our functions, like current directories and files, write to file, Read from file, delete file, create directory, ask user for additional information, and a function which signifies when the, the GPT is done. And we have function descriptions for each one of the functions while specifying what the GPT should return. For example, with write the file, it is returning a file path and content. With read from file, it is returning a file path to be read and delete file, of course, with a file path, for example. And with ask user for additional information, it is returning a question. And these functions that we have process this. For example, with the ask for user, ask user for additional information, we receive the question and then we ask it to the user. And then we take its user provided answer and then feed it back to GPT. Requirements for this are pretty simple just open AI and term color. Uh, this will also be available at Patreon. I have two files, AppMaker GPT-4 and AppMaker GPT-3.5 16K. You can actually, the GPT-3.5 doesn't do as well 
But I think with some improvement to the system messages, you can get it to work so much better. We have our system messages file, which has two identical system prompts, but you can modify them. All of these we import to the, our app maker, both our app maker files, for example, for a function descriptions, functions, and system messages. After that time, uh, we really just loop over the entire system, make different calls. I am actually making two different calls. Uh, one, one to get a summarization for different files, for example. Anyway, this is really interesting. The crux of the situation is actually really making a call to GPT-4. Right here, you say the model, the messages, I'm using puppy, assign the functions, function call is set to auto. So, so we receive the arguments from GPT and then run them through our functions, get their response and feed it back to GPT. And this is an ongoing process, which creates our entire application. We can test out the 3.516K model as well. Let's ask it the same three file creation. It's of course much faster. So it is creating, see what's going on. I created a folder and a Fibonacci and then check prime file. We are asking it to create the mathematical functions, right? So this is capable of doing some good stuff too. It's nowhere near as good as GPT-4 and it has the import files. It is importing those two files. See, it neglected to write the third file so far. Yeah, it is trying to create another import and implement. But essentially, I've tried this. You can get it to work. Uh, I will be doing some more experiments with the system message. Like I said, I'll be updating it on YouTube and also post updated files, code files at Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out EchoHive AI Academy at echohive.live. Here you can find all the videos that I've created on building AI powered apps. You can look into their description, find the code download links. You can actually also search them, for example, for Autocoder. It's an instant search, and you'll be able to find the content that you are, you are willing to learn. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.